What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? It's your man, Hollywood Sports, back with another video, guys. We're back on our NBA series with the Boston Celtics. And as you can see, guys, we're going on a roll right now. We got to play the Indiana Pacers, baby. You know, we got our starting lineup, True Holiday, Derek White, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and Chris Stops Porzingis. Probably the best starting five in the NBA. We are ready, man. Let's see what the Indiana Pacers can do. And let's see if we can keep our pace uh, rolling good on the road. Let's do it. If you are new to this channel, thank you for clicking on Lewis Sports. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave the land of the free in the heart. Hey, broke his ankles. All right, let's get it, baby. Let's get it. The holiday banging, huh? Let's go, baby. Celtics, Pacers. Let's do it. Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. See both teams are Joined by one. Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. And it's still early in the year, but already some and trends power developing. Rankings, baby. We're at check number seven. Out the new power rankings. Look at Indiana. They ascend Indiana. Up wow, the list up to number, number three. three with some spirited play. Checking out Boston. They're coming together probably slower than most people anticipated, but still extremely dangerous, but trying to work out some kinks here early on. And now the opening lineup for Boston. The Tatum is averaging and 33 front court, points a Brown game. and Tatum. Peter pairing with Nemard and Matherin. Uh, they got an eight. Siakam is the four, okay, and he'll be go. next to Turner at the five. Boy, is and it's never was the tips, man. One. Is it me or is it him? Sean's <laughs> no team is going to run Let's off go. titles like Boston did in the 60s. But these kind of have a they chance to, to win their Taking share. What a great what? start for them. An absolutely good roster. Everyone can defend. Everyone can shoot. They Get out of the here. Who made that they have on their team. And you have to be able to play multiple positions and be versatile to play on this team. It's hard to find a weak link. And it's really championship or bust in Boston. And I feel so great for their coach, Joe Mazzula. I know we'll get into that down the road. What a great job he's done. A young coach. Brown gets really his going, baby. Brown gets when his going with the three. Let's here, do it. It really boosts his team. Left side, Matherin. They want to play the use, but they want to play the loser. Give me that. that get one that crap out of here. Let's some go. Solid defense from Brown. And so Brown will bring it up for the Celtics. Last holiday. Set it up, baby. Set it up. Outside, White. Good pick, Porzingis. Hopping, pop, over pop, and pop. And it's oh, White man. missing. Come on, baby. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly, let's get back. Let's get back. Let's get back. You will afford to give a guy to up, Porzingis. that good a look. Oh, good D. Porzingis good D. with the Push rebound. Let's take him. Let's go. Here are the Celtics. And John's no, get, get nothing Tatum, baby. Let's go. Let's go. We're here. We're talking Assistant NBA. Power. We're watching this game. We got this great group here courtside. You've got two phones working, and I'm sure there's a third hidden in your back. Can you estimate how many texts oh, do you old. send and receive? Could help me, Porzingis. Good job. Oh, oh man, bang. Kevin, how many texts do you get a right day <laughs> related to NBA <laughs> info? You're coming at me. You know the job is. It's it's hundreds of messages flooding my phone on a daily basis and the screen time usually in busy seasons tends to be closer to 18 to 20 hours but this is what we Money. sign up Money. Money. we love to inform the audience oh and i know you love every second of it Cast to turner here's nemhard turner with his screen on white back to turner Rzingis with beautiful. the steal beautiful Short and up, just short under up. two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. 
pick and pop, pick and pop. Let's go back. That's Boom, from let's 17 go. Feet away. Brown's got his second basket of the night. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Timeout, timeout. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. Late June, NBA free agency is such a busy time for you, Shams. Uh, during the start of that hectic period, uh, walk us through your day. What's your life like? I've asked you this before in previous times you've been out here with us, but do you get any sleep? <laughs> I'm up 24-7 because the great part about free agency, Kevin, is you never know when you might get that call, you might get that text, when a player has committed, when a player has decided to go to a specific NBA team. That is what I live for. That's what I know the fans live for, and I'm one of those fans, so I want to make sure I know as well and I'm able to inform in an appropriate, timely, responsible, and fair way, and accurately. So for me, uh, there's not D, much guys, wiggle D, when let's it go. comes to sleep. D, I D, try friends. to make up for it later. But NBA free agency, you can shoot, shoot, man. Man. Who is that? those are time periods that I know I have to be on. I might be getting a call now, Kevin, actually. Well, wait, I was just going to ask you. We're doing this game. I'm looking at your phone. It's lighting up. You're looking down. You're looking at the game. You're talking to me. You're doing two things at once. I have to be multitasking at all times, Kevin. You know that. Oh, it's the best. Hey, Sean, for the past decade that you've been a major player in the NBA, it's been LeBron's league. It's been Curry's league. Who else is going to take over this league, you think, coming up around the corner? Given the NBA Finals we just had, I have to throw in Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, and Luka Doncic into the fold as the far as to get the basis of right the now, NBA. But Nikola Jokic too, is so good. He will be one of the guys for a while. Giannis Antetokounmpo, you have to mention Here him we go, as well. Pause, but Pop it, baby. You have to go, also keep go. an eye on Victor Wembanyama. The way that Victor Wembanyama could take over the league, and already so early was so special. Victor Wembanyama is someone to keep an eye on. Okay, they just passed a note down to me, Arthur Daniel. Oh, what about uh, Anthony Edwards of Minnesota? He's about another seconds, four seconds. young American player uh, who is really making an impact. Anthony Edwards, Devin Booker, you have to consider those two as well. And it's he's special, he's special he's the crop right of young players that we have coming up in this league. One of them is sure to emerge as this generation's, whether you want to call it Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, there will be a face on this crop. There's a foul, and we cannot wait. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Kevin, the Celtics can beat you in a number of ways. Point guard Giroux Holiday said, we can play small and big. We have great bench players who come in and change the game at any time and could start on other teams. And we have a hunger. Kevin, they're going to be a problem for a long time. Agreed. Yeah, they are stacked, D.A., for sure. Here's Brown. Following the score by Tyrese Halliburton, Brown, good. Brown has a nice shot repertoire. Let's get a stop, guys. Clearly, Let's get the mid-range doesn't give him much trouble. Halliburton inside the three-point line. That doesn't go either for Halliburton. Jalen Brown has been leading the charge for the Boston Celtics. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. And we'll be right back after this. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Boston. People say the mid-range shot is dying, but so far in this one, that has not been the case for this team. Cultivating a lot of assists right now, which is beautiful to see. Love the way they're working that ball around. We've got Isaiah Jackson. T.J. McConnell is out there with Tyrese Halliburton. The shot and there's the shot, Toppin. And it's Neesmith in at the three, the small four. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Hey, Shams, I know you cover the league like no one else, but I've seen your jump shot. You have a sweet J. Did, did you, you must have played organized ball, I'm assuming. I played a little bit in high school, Kevin, but once I got cut in high school, that's when I knew my career path would have to trend into what I'm doing now, into writing and covering the We got nothing to baby. We got nothing to shoot. Let's go. I have a lot of confidence in my jump shot, watching the players <laughs> like Steph Curry shoot the basketball. I'm not trying to give any comparisons, but I do love to shoot the ball. That is the one thing I know I can do decently on the floor. I know. <laughs> I love your answer. <laughs> not much else, but I can shoot. 
<laughs> and there's the foul. It'll go on Tyrese Halliburton. That is his first foul of the game. You got to be aggressive with Tatum, baby. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Outside, Horford. Here's Hauser. Four on the shot clock. And as the salary that would have been a dangerous pass down low. Should have gave it to him then. Any major effects that you can anticipate? It won't be like the year the Warriors signed KD. Oh, we're we're playing good defense right now. Good defense right now. And it's not going to spike quite the same. But these numbers will continue to get high. Money, popular. money. You think about player salary. <laughs> and you have to keep. Oh, that was a push off. The luxury tax and the new second apron that came in the collective bargaining agreement, and that <clears> will play a part in how you build. Not putting yourself in a restricted <laughs> position to continue to build winning organizations. First team. A lot of moving parts to contend with, but boy. A lot on the horizon. The Pacers shooting their first free throws of this game. That's good for McConnell. Indiana making some changes. Turner's checked in for Jackson. And Andrew Nemhards subbed in for Aaron Neesmith. Both good from the line that time. Austin leading by seven. Here's Pritchard, still without a basket. Pass to Horford. Hey, Shams, no one is keyed on the league like you. Is there an under-the-radar trend that you're seeing around the NBA or the next thing that you're anticipating may happen with the way the league will sway one way or the other? Talking to executives around the league, it's clear that length has been very important, but having players that do multiple things and are versatile, that is of the utmost importance right now. We saw what happened with the Celtics winning a championship this year. I think that certainly is going to have an impact on how teams are going to build moving forward. Like the Celtics, you well, want to have players. Out. Three to five oh, he made it. That are playing heavy crazy, minutes you, man. that are doing everything crazy. out there on the floor, not just one particular move. Pacers trail by seven. And so it's Rick Carlisle here calling timeout. He wants to check in with his team and regroup. I hear that music. Siakam has checked in for the Pacers. Benedict Mathering comes in for TJ McConnell. And then for Boston. Jalen Brown comes in for Al Horford. And it's wide in for Pritchard. Siakam outside. Good on the jump shot. Six points for Siakam. Rising fire. This is Siakam's attitude off the catch. And with these results, you understand why. Brown deciding where to go with it. Two minutes. Porzingis finds Holiday. White with it. It's up a three. Yes. With three points shooting team, baby. The Let's go. That time. Holiday assist on the night. Pacers trail by eight. Pass to Nemhart. Outside Matherin. And a wide open look for Siakam. I this one. I right can't back believe. with the three of his own. But it's no good. That's in the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Kevin, thanks. Well, there's plenty of scores on the Celtics, but Jason Tatum says, I'm going to get my shots. It's just about trusting the process. Good D, White, good D. From experience, I understand that I'm good enough yeah, that I can do it. got a lot of help D in this, in this game, man. Then, I like it. In the fourth, I can score 20 in the quarter. The court Kevin, the sounds like he's figured it all out. Thank you so much. You know, he can take over at any time, and it's fun to watch. DA, we thank you for that. And Shams, what an absolute delight it has been having you courtside with all of us tonight. Thank you so much for taking time to join us. It has been a true pleasure. Thanks so much for the invite. I can't wait to do it again sometime. I'm honored. I'm privileged. Oh, we are going to hold you to that. Thank you again. Always so much fun to have Shams. <laughs> we got shooters everywhere, baby. No one What's with up? a better pulse on the NBA. Man, Shams is always the first guy to know about the big moves around the NBA. Love hearing 
what he has to say. Shot on the wing. That one's in there. The Boston Lakers get down to nine in the bucket from Siakam. And, and Siakam always the has options in the mid range. So He's far. a talented shooter who can make that shot. Outside, Brzingis. Pass to Holiday. Now, here's Tatum. Let's it go with a three. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got four assists in the game. Holiday against McConnell. And it's a defensive three second violation. Barely, barely in the paint. Come on, Rep. For Indiana, they have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And at the line last season, about 78% as a team. Pretty solid numbers. And so he hits the technical free throw. Pretty easy to get excited about Benedict Matherin's potential. He's got a high motor and a terrific set of athletic skills and the ability to knock it down. McConnell finds Siakam. Fires from deep. Nemard's shot is good. Nemard's got his first three points of the game. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Brown outside. And the Celtics hit again <laughs> from deep. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Go. Back and forth for long Go. range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. And so it's Boston holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. And their three-point shooting has paved the way for them. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. Welcome to halftime. First things first, a look ahead at other games on the docket tonight. For the Raptors, they'll be up against the Hornets in Charlotte. That's a 7 p.m. tip-off, Eastern Time. And this could be a fairly competitive one. And now let's turn to the first half of our game. It's been all about Jalen Brown so far. Listen, so far, Jalen Brown has been terrific. To be fair, sometimes we expect him to have more games like this just because of his natural talent, but he's getting more and more consistent every year. He knows how great he can be, and he's showing out tonight. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. It's been a clinic out there by Jalen Brown. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. Well, Greg, Boston didn't just win the title. They won their 18th NBA championship in and one, style. And one. No series went more than five, going 16 and three in the postseason, Kevin. Half of those wins were by 15 or more. The Celtics really weren't <laughs> even challenged during that title run. On the court dominate, right now dominate, for the Celtics. Babies. The small and power forwards, the star pair of Brown and Tatum. Holiday in the backcourt. To his side is White. And it's Brzingis in at the five, roaming the paint. And that I one is it. I shoot with Jalen Brown Clark at the average, uh, free throw uh, attempts free throw are down a I fair bit can't. in the last 20, 25 years. Yeah, I mean, from a fan perspective, I think you compare a field goal to a couple of free throws. It's obvious, though, which is more entertaining to watch. You want to see guys score the ball in live action. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut to just 11 points in the basket from Halliburton. Tatum deciding where to go with it. Over Siakam. It's rebounded by Indiana. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Tatum. Tatum downhill. And the dunk by Tatum. Get off him, baby. Get off Awesome speed from Tatum. Excels at getting to the right place in these fast break chances. Pass to Nemar. For three, Siakam. He don't miss. 
Jalen Brown them, huh? with the rebound. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no. Take the passing in right there. Nemhard with it. Halliburton outside. And a wide open look from Atherin. No good on the three. Austin leading by 13. Outside Tatum. Outside Holiday. Wants to get it to Brown and does. It's good for the seventh time this game. He is shot he seven. He is, is made no seven. I don't no think he could have been any more impressive than he was tonight. Brown is setting this place on already. fire. And Rick Carlisle decides to call timeout. He wants to talk to his guys. That's a great face here. First in scoring. First in assist. And they were number one in field goal percentage. Their shot selection, a major focus for this group. And more often than not, it was going to be their O that propelled them to victory. And having the best offense in the league last season, they were an opponent that no team wanted to face. Nemar's shot is good. Sweet dime that time from Halliburton. This combo guard has really impressive floor awareness, folks. Tatum against Siakam. Charity stripe shot. Tatum no good. And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up for the Indiana Pacers. Down by 12. Tyrese Halliburton is flat out special Clark. Yeah, you say it all the time. He is an absolute machine on offense. He really is an orchestrator, a maestro of platinum level capability. His turnover numbers outstanding. He's a guy that flirts with the 50, 40, 90 shooting splits and is going to lead the league in assists. I think a better part of his career going forward. That's how good he is. The Pacers making a switch here. Neesmith has checked in. Austin also with the sub. Horford's checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. After exploding onto the NBA radar in 2019, Siakam Clark has been a sure thing on offense. Well, you know what you're going to get from Pascal Siakam. I mean, whether it's in the open floor or in the half-court sets, he's a guy you can count on delivering when you give him the ball in those situations. His offense never takes a night off. Four on the clock. Brown, good. Brown's got 18 points in the game. They've been going to him an awful lot this game, and you can see why. He's pouring it on. Back to Halliburton. Over Holiday, Horford with the rebound. Celtics leading by 12. Porzingis kicks to Holiday. Outside Tatum. They swipe it. Here's the break. Nemhard the pass to Halliburton. And here is Neesmith. You got him! And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Turner showing improvement as a passer, and the more he looks to distribute the ball, the better we his team is. And Clark, they as all, we watch all three Gary Neesmith, playing, he was such a great shooter in college, and it took him a while to find his stroke in the NBA. And you know what, Kevin? Nothing really surprising about that. Most players struggle to find their game in the NBA, to find their role in the NBA. But Neesmith, he's Good found job, his rhythm Reports. and his role, and he um, clearly is dangerous from behind the arc. Here's Brown, and there's the foul. It'll go on T.J. McConnell. That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Outside Holiday. Shot clock at six. Here's Brown, and Brown throws it down hard. We've come to expect plays like that from Brown. He won't waste any opportunity to throw it down. And so it's Rick Carlisle here calling timeout. He wants a minute here to get things straightened out with his team. Shepard's checked in for Andrew Nemhart. Celtics also with a sub. Hauser's checked in. 
Pacers trail by 12. And uh, 101 left in the third quarter. Here's Neesmith. And Neesmith with the slam. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. Now Brown. He's got 20. Pass to Hauser. Back to Brown. Over Shepard. And there are the Celtics with Let's another stop. basket. Let's stop. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Here's Siaka. The rebound by the Celtics. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. As a result, they've got a big lead. Well, I think he shot the ball well, guys, but I don't think he shot it enough. The more shots he gets from here on out, the more they'll stretch out this lead. And finished off by Siakam. And no doubt they the love to the see him get a really lot have. more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does great. Let's close it up, baby. Let's go into the fourth. Drive. The one-hand hole punch. Jalen Brown has been leading the charge for Boston. And of everything he's doing well, it's his scoring that you point to first. Already 22 points in this game. We come back right after this. Rick Carlisle had some words for his team. Let's hear what he had to say. Come on, we got to have some presence down there. Not just try to outscore them. We got to have them feel us. We got to make it hard on them. Well, that's a staple of Coach Carlisle's game plan, isn't it? Wanting his guys to play with purpose on the defensive end. And really, it's what makes him such a great coach. When the defense isn't up to par, he's going to hold his guys accountable. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. They've got Tyrese Halliburton. Toppin is out there with Isaiah Jackson. Here in the it's T.J. McConnell. And it's Neesmith in at the three. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Tatum passes to Hauser. Offensive rebound. Cornette. And he banks in the lane. And the Celtics lead by 12. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. To the paint, here's Jackson, and the dunk by Jackson. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, the basket guy still shaking. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hand. Here's Tatum. Great job by Tatum in close. Tell you what, Tatum using his length for positioning inside, able to operate well in the paint. McConnell passes to Neesmith. Now, Hellebert. Whistle <laughs> blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Well, I think they've been lethal from beyond the arc this game, no doubt about it. Hard to defend such spot-on shooting. And we also got to talk about the damage they've done inside. The opposition having a hard time keeping that ball out of the paint. The free throw off from Halliburton. And Greg, we know the Pacers have to improve defensively. But where do they start? Candidly, Kevin, I feel like they're too soft. Uh, giving up offensive rebounds, cheap fouls, they've got to be tougher mentally and physically, especially on the interior. Well, that's an example of the speed and strength of Holiday. Fully on display there. He's so good at scoring on the drive and playing through physical defense. Topping, no one around him. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. Here's Pritchard. He's covered by Halliburton. Pass to Holiday. There's the three. 
It's rebounded by Neesmith. And it's still a close game. I mean, despite the fact that they've struggled to compete on the board. Yeah, you know, but down the stretch here, guys, they'll summon that extra effort to try and get it done, I think. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. And so Joe Mazzula calls for the timeout. There was no hesitating. He wants here to talk to the team right now. And some changes here for the Pacers. Miles Turner, he's checked in for Jackson. Pascal Siakam comes in for Toppin. And it's Benedict Matherin in for Aaron Neesmith. And then for Boston. Yeah. Porzingis is checked in for Luke Cornett. I just started. Brown comes in for Al Horford. I just started. And Derek White subbed in for Pritchard. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, able to listen in on what Joe Mazzula was going over with his team. He told his players, I love the energy right now. You look like you're having fun out there. Keep playing for each other because our chemistry looks great right now. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Halliburton and good got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim Halliburton such a special player and his rush hour handles round out his game and here's Tatum he'll bring it up for Boston the biggest lead of the game 15 two points remaining in the game two minutes outside white there's Brown with the three buries the long range jumper Brown's got five points in the quarter and this is what the team wants JB to do. Punish defenses that don't respect him from the corner. We world champions, baby. We are world that champions. One's in there. The Boston League is cut down now to just 11 on the basket from Halliburton. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. It was the exact same kind of offensive showcase for him in their last game, too. When it happens this often, that's, uh, that's not a pattern. That's a characteristic. Lays it up and banks it in. Brown's got 17 now, just in the second half. And I know the defense was all over Brown that time, guys, but in the end, he's just too skilled for him in the paint. Here's Halliburton. Looks good, is good. That's his seventh basket in 12 tries. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. And White kicks to Holland. Back to White. Outside Tatum. Pass to Holiday. Boston needs to get off a shot. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. So Indiana ends up with a new group on the floor. Now, here's McConnell. Defense right on him. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. Boy, terrific play there. I thought even with all the contact, he still was going to get that shot to go down. He hits the first one, and that brings them to within 10. Shepard's checked in for the Pacers. And a change for the Celtics. Springer's checked in. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth. Just five to shoot. Here's Hauser, and the rebound goes to the Pacers. Not enough ticks left on the clock to save them tonight. Not by a long shot. It's all but official. And the three ball is good. 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Pritchard. Boston again missing. So 
now it's the Celtics picking up the win. This was a no hard-fought, well-earned victory for no Greg. They really had to work they for this win. The road. The point. I mean, when we know teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you see it here, I'm they Hollywood stood Sports. tall and, and pulled it out. Well said. The next it's video. time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Al. The coach mentioned he wanted to come into this building and do whatever was necessary to win. Did you think you guys had the intensity to get that done? Yeah, no question. I, I like the energy from our team from the beginning. Um, you know, uh, to be able to come in here and then get a win like this, it, it feels good. Great world win tonight, Al. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Wraps it up. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And now, our player of the game, Jalen Brown.